Okay, uh, let's go to the commentator too. Alright, hi, um, this is just a tutorial for Desert Castle, uh, for the old bosses round. Uh, let's just route out for it. It's fairly optimized, I think it's as fast as it's gonna get. Uh, something you should know before you start this level is quite a lot of it is time based and if you don't have a good run up to like at the start the rest of the level will be out of whack and you'll lose like 10 or so seconds but yeah the more you practice the better you'll get it's just a matter of getting everything first try and all that so anyway let's get started straight away we have a trick these things close and you don't want to get hit by them it's quicker just to jump over them. You can also come and do this strat. Oh. They both work. As you can see. Um, it's a, I have reference points for both of these jumps because it's, you want to hold forward as soon as the level starts. And then follow the reference points I'll give you in a second. And that second jump is just a matter of knowing like when it's about to close in. You can actually close on like that if you're not confident with the jump or you just get hit. But yeah. Um, anyway. <clears throat> so the first reference point is when you hold forward. Uh, well when you start, hold up and right a bit. And when you get to this little edge part here where my mouse is, like the edge of the path, start holding forward, so like that. And then you want to jump at this, where my mouse is, where this line and this line meet, a bit afterwards, so I'd say like around here, jump. So, I'll show you what I mean. That should put you on top of here. Now you don't really have much room to maneuver when you're on here, it's a fairly thin platform. So you're going to want to jump fairly quickly as soon as you land into the middle and then time that jump and just jump over. <coughs> the second one, which is just going straight forward, is when you start, hold straight forward. That's all you need to do. Okay, I was just doing that to check my reference point. Let me check it again. Alright, so it's about this here. You'll see like it goes like a weird here, kind of. There's like just a small portion of it. Then there's two lines back uh, where you want to jump. So you're going to want to jump here. So like... Like that. But doing it fast motion, like... Y if you were looking, you could see it's jumped from the reference point. And you got to make it over. Alright, so this next part is you jump over here. Now, <clears throat> there's a few ways you can do this. The first one is just stick your tongue out straight and get it. And you just spit this guy out while you jump, which slows you down, but because it's all cycle based, it doesn't really matter. I just prefer not to do that. Um, I prefer to just curve my tongue and avoid it. Also, there's another strand here which I'll try and get. Oh, I fell off. Um, it's fairly difficult. There you go. <clears throat> and you can swing around if you are uh, wicket from here. But don't be too close to that wall because um you'll hit it and it won't work. But yeah. Um so I'll re show the strats quickly. First one, just go straight and lick that guy up. Second one, curve around and don't lick him up. Third one, go from here and just spin. The spin's actually quicker, slightly, but um, yeah, as it is all cycle based once again, it's probably not worth the risk taken to do that um, unless you really want to uh, risk it just for the sake of it looking better or whatever. <coughs> anyway, so we're over here, then you just want to do a straight up tongue jump here, jump up here. Now, oh, yeah. I'll make another safe state. Um, 
straight up tongue jump here, jump up here, and now this you can just jump over. Oh, oh that, I really missed that jump, it's pretty easy. It's the next jump that you want to worry about. And then a forward tongue jump thing here. <coughs> and yeah, you can just jump over this gap as well, it's kind of precise, but yeah. Um, and you want to do another forward tongue jump because an old one won't get you up here. I find it's best and quickest to actually just... Um, no, there was an example of me failing it. Um, now you can like fly straight over, get hit by them. If you, yeah, if you're in the middle, it's possible to do that and just not get hit by them at all. But it's kind of precise. I mean, that could be like task strats or something. But what I like to do, it's what's quickest. Uh, just like basically. It's quickest and easy to just land up here and then do another jump over to this and keep jumping up. Oh, hang on, I'll actually get this health. Make a safe state. Alright, so you want to jump and just hold f like along this thing. You want to try and get as much distance as you can. And you should... Hang on, I can actually use the... Um, the pause function here. You should land around this line here. <coughs> so there's like one more square before you have to jump. <coughs> Gonna unpause it and jump pretty much straight away. And land here. Now you might be able to see there's six uh, squares here. Separated by five lines. You When you jump over there your invulnerability is going to run out eventually. Um, and to like know when to jump to counteract that. You want to go, not the first, not the second, not the third, but the fourth line. At the fourth line or just before it. And you want to hold down A the whole way to get the most distance. Oh, okay. So, you'll see me end up near the last line. Jump. Okay, and now this is the fourth line I was talking about, where there's two squares left. I got stuck on the spike, but, because <laughs> I paused. Um, okay, so, fourth line, jump. And my invulnerability and like runs out just just uh just I can't speak <laughs> just as I I jump so I don't get hit by the spikes. Anyway, because we've taken so long, it's actually really convenient. The cycles have synced back up. Um, this will happen when you're playing normally as well, and you don't make mistakes. This platform will be coming just around. Depending on how good you did it, if it's like perfect, it'll be around here. It won't have made it to here yet. Um, if you're average, it'll be like around, like it'll be touching this wall, or sometimes it'll be out really far. If it's out, like as far, just jump and try and land on it. Worst case scenario, you miss it. Or best case scenario, it's like out there and you just jump and you just make it. If you miss it though, the time it takes for you to just come back up here, it, the other platform won't even platform won't even be there by then. So missing it, you don't have to worry about. Like you will lose some time, but not a whole lot. Anyway, coming up here is a little bit of a tricky part. <coughs> up here is two arrow dispensers. Um. You want to wait till the one on the left shoots the arrow and then jump. Now, <coughs> this will look really weird. <coughs> like, this won't work for me. <coughs> and the reason is because the cycles are screwed up because I have uh, had to. <coughs> I had I failed and I've made save states and I've stopped to explain things and everything. But, <coughs> what will happen is an arrow will shoot out of here a bit closer to the platform. <coughs> and it'll shoot out of here around the same time. Then you want to wait for it to shoot out of here, and just as it does when it's about here, jump. Uh, there's a bit of leeway. You'll probably want to wait a bit longer, but y you basically need to land on this stone area as quick as you possibly can. Because uh, the next thing is also on a cycle. I'm really confused now this is out of sync. Oh. And it's practically based on how quickly you can land on here. 
However, it's not in cycle. Actually, I'll speed this up. Okay. So usually, you'll end up like here and it'll be like just going back. You can make it sometimes and it'll be like, you'll be running and you gotta like jump after it and you'll just miss it. Other, t other times, it'll be like just there and you can jump and land on it. Basically, just whatever. But, um, yeah, it's just, you have to be really quick there to make sure you land on that. Now, stupid that this isn't in cycle as well. Everything's out of cycle, which is like making this bad to watch. Um, but basically, you can wait for this platform. Like, um, if it's in cycle, you'll be able to just jump and land on the platform. It's about there when you get there. And it's cool that it's, that's all in cycle. Ugh. Oh, hang on, wait, I forgot what I was on there. But it doesn't seem to be how it's going to be. So if you screw up and you miss this cycle or something, you can actually just do that. In fact, it's quicker to do that anyway. Like, then go on the platform. Um, okay, sorry. Because the platform moves so slow that it's actually quicker to just, you know, do that. Anyway, so, when you land up here, you just want to jump over. You can't do a straight up just here. You nearly can. Oh, you can actually, but only in some places. If you like two, f you got to be like right up next to the thing. And what? <coughs> um... It is technically faster, but I find it easy to do this. You can normally jump over this. you got to do a forward tongue jump up here. And now, here's two hard jumps. And they're really only faster if you can get them consistently. Otherwise, it'd be quicker to just go around the normal way. So this is a matter of if you want to do it, do it. But learn it before you do it. Because it's not going to save you any time if you can't get it right. Um, but yeah, it's basically it. All it is is just, this jump's really easy, this one's a lot easier than this one. Um, you can basically land up here and just quickly just do that. And from when you land up there, you, th the optimal thing to do is land. So just land and then do another tongue jump off your landing. I'm not very consistent at this jump yet though. Um, I don't really have any tips for it, because there isn't any, there can't be any, <laughs> it's just about learning, um, yeah, when to do things. You want to try and start from as close to the edge as possible, that's why I always keep trying to land right on the edge and accidentally falling off, and that's why it's good to do it straight from this jump, because oh, I can't even get this one now, it puts you right near the edge. Say I'm here, it's about getting the forward momentum from running so you get higher altitude from the tongue jump <coughs> and releasing it a at the, uh, pressing a at the right time so that you um yeah so that you can make it up there to get the height if you want to cue basically come right to the edge and then like hold forward to just like you want to make sh his tongue just about where this black thing is. This darker line, not the black one completely, the darker one. Like, somewhere in here. Um, it's not too important, though. It's really just about getting the timing right, which I'm having trouble with. I'll get this one last time, and then we can, can, ah, we can continue on with the level. If I can even do it. Um, <clears throat> I can actually also show you the strats to do if you don't want to do this jump. Which I can't even 
get anymore. Okay. <clears throat> so that's how to get up here. It's the quickest way if you can get it consistently. Um, the other way is when you... Yeah, hang on. When you come up from down here, when you do the jump and lick over and stuff, and come up here, just wait for this platform to come down. Jump up. Wait for this. <coughs> and then do that. It is slightly slower, by like just under 10 seconds or so. But you know. Okay. So now here's a kind of frustrating part. You can't move or jump on this sand. All you can do is use your tongue. And you want to stay down this edge of the lane, I suppose. And just try and grab onto as many of these as you can. From as distant as you can. Because it'll pull you farther. Can't I? jump off there to get the most distance because it's really slow to just rely on this movement, uh, this sand for movement. That one's pretty hard to get. I miss it a lot, actually. Anyway. So now, this jump can be a bit frustrating. You just jump straight over. Like that. Um, however, it's like if you if I jump from this middle part, I'm gonna get hit. You can go up from the side if you'd like. If you find that easier, like from against the wall. I can't. I'm jumping too early. Like that, and then just swing over. Or you can just come along this side and do it, but once again I'm jumping too early. There's no way to actually like get damage boosted off these guys over here if you're not good at the jump. Anyway, just swing over from that. And then jump on this platform, ride it up. Wait right on the edge. And just do a small jump up. <coughs> now the quickest way to get through this part, I've tried a few ways. I've tried getting hit by all of them. Um, licking one and then just getting hit by the other, so you only get hit once. But the fastest way to do it is just, the absolute fastest way to do this is just lick it, jump, lick it, jump, lick it, jump. Oh, and then with this, you kind of want to curve your tongue. Um, the only reason for that is if I go straight on, uh, depending where this B is, because they do go up and down, you can get hit like that and not make it. Um, so I do like to curve my tongue. Here, um, is a kind of tricky thing. It's just, you want to do a forward tongue jump up here, and then another forward tongue jump. Okay, so now we're onto a kind of cool part but can get a bit frustrating. There's um, a specific way to lick these to get through the quickest, which I just did. You want to jump over and lick this one here. And then you want to curve your tongue around like that. And make sure your tongue goes through there. Like through those two poles. I didn't mean to grab that one. It's probably quicker though, <laughs> now I think about it. Um, just practice with that because it can get a bit frustrating. Anyway. That was stupid, don't do that. Just grab over. Then you want to lick it again a few times so that you get... Hang on. I can't hit that cramp because it screws everything up. Um, so you passed it, that's what you want to be. And you want to grab this one and then that one. Um, there's a few different ways you can do it. You can do like this. 
like, um, the fastest way though, get this one, like past it, get this one, get this one, um, those parts don't really lose that much time if you just do it randomly though, so yeah, whatever, you want to jump up here, when those things are just, like, they'll close and then when they just go back in, and now this is a timing based jump, you just gotta kinda learn the timing for that. And I'll show it one more time. Oh, not what I meant to do. It's kinda just judging when to jump so you have enough air time. Oh, I didn't mean to speed up, I meant to safe state. Oh, there. Right. So now is pretty much the last part of the level. There is almost more part for this, but yeah. This, you really wanna take your time on it. Because if you don't, uh, you can fall off very easily. Um, I'm going to do a quick run through of it and then I'll go back and explain everything. Right. Oh, also, you want to have your camera all the way to the uh, right, so tap C right twice. It'll be all the way. Um, you can see that there's like a lot of judging where things are, I suppose. I don't know what I'd call it, really. I almost forget that you can just jump down there. That is stupid. Oh, and then I save stated there accidentally. <laughs> Well, um, just follow what I did there. I would explain it, but I accidentally save stated and I can't go back. I can make a separate video if anyone wants it, but you should just be able to follow what I do. It's uh, pretty basic. It's just basically remembering where everything is so you can jump onto it. There's two hearts here. Jump and grab them if you want. And then into the boss. So, I'll speed this up just because I don't bother. The way this boss works is you'll come out of the ground, you'll bounce on the ground every time he does enemies come out that you can lick up. And then he'll land on the ground after a few bounces and you can just it gives you enough time to just hit him with one of the enemies using the Z to shoot one out at a time. Um This is a five cycle boss. So you're gonna have to hit him five times. It really doesn't matter how many you get in your mouth at once because he bounces so often that, you know, it's not really hard to get some to hurt him with. But yeah, you can see that this is a very easy boss. Uh, the, other than being repetitive, he's fairly quick. Not as quick as like Bomb Caterpillar or like Lizard King or anything. Oh, oh I missed. <laughs> you can kind of tell when he's about to land and not bounce <coughs> because he stays in the air for a bit longer and all the like now and all the enemies disappear so now one last cycle should do it as I said about knowing when he's gonna land you can be kinda preemptive about it I'll try and make a save state to show you like it'll be now I need to give you more time though. Like that, there you go. And that's Desert Castle, so I hope this helped. If you are looking to run it, maybe you're going to do an old boss run or whatever, and yeah.